Hello, Leo. Welcome back. This is Renee. And this is going to be your next 48 hours. So we're going to see what you can expect, what's going on, what's happening within the next 48 hours. Okay? So let's get some energy. We have relationship harmony. Archangel Raquel. Uh, your angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. Okay? So you may have been having some conflicts and arguments. I feel like, you know, hmm, Leo. Let's get some more energy first. Okay, we have truth be told. Yeah, there's something that you're gonna find out. Maybe during one of these arguments or conflicts that you're that you're currently going through. Um, but I feel like you already know what this is about. You already know what's going on. You may have been in some kind of conflict for the past couple of days because I'm getting the energy that this isn't new, right? Um, I'm getting the energy that this may be a cycle that you're going through. So I feel like you already know it. Uh, we have your hard work is paying off, new moon and Capricorn, okay? So whatever energy that you're putting into something, I feel like you're going to get that energy back. You know, that there's something that's going to be resolved, something going to come to a resolution. Um, but I feel like it's only going to come to a resolution after you hear the truth. You know, after someone spills the beans about something, right? So let's get some energy. What's going on for Leo? Messages for Leo, next 48 hours. Messages for Leo, next 48 hours. Angels, please give me their message. What do they need to know? Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, you've been unhappy, you know? You've been trying to be happy. Um, it definitely could be a love situation within your relationship. Um, you may not be speaking. You may feel like you don't want to communicate, right? Give me some more energy for Leo. The Knight of Wands. Okay, overall energy is the star. And the strength card. You're being strong in this situation. You're ready to move forward. You know? I, I feel like... I feel like you're holding your tongue for a reason. You know? Because I feel like you care about this person. This person that you're having the conflict and the argument with. You're feeling like you need to just be quiet. In order to let them... In order to keep the peace. You're being quiet to keep the peace. Okay. Um, let's get some more energy. For Leo. The Nine of Wands in reverse. The Nine of Cups in reverse. The Four of Cups. At the bottom we have the Fool. Okay. And the hangman. Hmm. You're. F mm, I don't. I don't know why. Most of the signs are feeling this way. But I feel like you know there's a lot of sadness here, and I feel like it may be due to a love situation. Right. Um, because I feel like, you know, with your overall energy, your overall energy is the star. So I feel like right now you're very hopeful, but I feel like you are trying to restore your strength. 
you're trying to be helpful in your situation, but you are healing. You know, what are you healing from? What are you healing from? Because I feel like you're trying to be strong in your situation, Leo. You know, um, you may have to have compassion to get through your situation, right? Um, with the Nine of Wands in reverse, I feel like, you know, you're just exhausted by the situation. Look, we're going from the Nine of Wands in reverse to the star, to the Queen of Swords in reverse. You know, the Queen of Swords in reverse is just cold hearted and bitter. You know, there may be bitter words coming from maybe this person, you know. So I feel like you've heard a lot. You felt a lot. Leo, because even if we're coming this way, you know, there's sadness. You're trying very hard to heal during this situation, but then you're still left fe feeling unfulfilled. You know, you're, you're still left thinking about the situation. You feel disconnected. For some reason, right? And the Knight of Cups energy is just, you know, not taking action, just really moody. And, okay, if this is your person, if this is your person having this energy, Leo, I feel like it's kind of moving towards toxic energy. Right? Because there's a lot of depression here. There's a lot of feeling of anxiety, you know, a lot of strong words being thrown back and forth, a feeling of sadness, right? Disconnect. Um, but I feel like you want to move away from that energy. You want to leave that energy. You don't want to be a part of it anymore, right? And we have up here, you know, relationship harmony. There's going to be a resolution uh, very soon in the situation. But I feel like it's not going to happen until some truth is told. You know? Maybe it is that you're waiting on some kind of truth to be revealed. Okay? But whatever you're doing in this situation, I mean, it's paying off for you, Leo. Um, I can't say if it's paying off for this other person. But the hard work that you're doing is paying off for you. Okay, give me a message. Why is the sun in reverse here? Give me a message for Leo. Why is the sun in reverse? Yeah, the four of swords. You're, you're looking to heal. You're looking for that restoration. You know? Um, with the, the moon in reverse on the ace of cups. There's definitely, there's definitely some confusion here, you know? Fear and disrespect. Someone is, is disrespecting you and you feel the need to protect yourself, to protect your energy, right? Why is the Queen of Swords here in reverse? Give me a message. Why is the Queen of Swords here in reverse? The Ten of Cups in reverse. Yeah. Someone, someone has said things to you. Someone has said things to you that has brought out, brought out a lot of unhappiness. You know, and I feel like it, it's verging on being... Toxic, very, you know, because the the ten of cup, the ten of cups in reverse, you know, that could be someone feeling very disrespected, you know, that could be 
you know, you and your partner arguing, just a lot of unhappiness, a lot of unkind words, you know. Um, I don't know what's going on, Leo. The energy is just crazy at the moment. Why is the uh, Knight of Wands here? The Ten of Swords. Yeah, you're ready to move past this. You're ready for it to be done and over with so you can just go about your way, move forward. You know, you may be ready to walk away from something, okay? Uh, give me a message. Why is the star here? Give me a message for the star, please. The Seven of Pentacles. You're feeling like it may not be worth the effort to put the energy into it, right? Um, you feel like, I'm, I'm really getting with this energy that it's a cycle that you keep going through. I feel like you're constantly going through healing. If this is a relationship, you're constantly going through healing in this relationship. And you're constantly feeling like, you know, everything is going to be fine. You're very hopeful, right? But then once it gets fine, then, you know, you're right back to the drawing board. You feel like you need to build your strength up again, right? Give me a message for the strength card. Yeah, the Knight of Cups in reverse. Someone may have taken back an offer. Someone may, I mean, I feel like this is some, this is separation, you know. I, I feel like this is someone who has walked out of the situation, you know. This is a lot of moodiness, right. Um, could be that the person that you're dealing with is kind of stuck in a fantasy. Stuck in the fantasy of what they feel would be right. Why is the Nine of Wands here? The Death card. Yeah, you're ready for a change. You're definitely ready for the change. We're going from the Four of Swords to the Ten of Swords to the Death card. You're ready for something to be done and over and just transformed, right? You're ready for something to just finish. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Excuse me, the Page of Cups here in reverse. Now it's the Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups here in reverse? We've got the Knight of Cups twice in reverse. You know? Jeez. Yeah, you're waiting for some kind of action. You're waiting for someone to make their move. Okay? Why is the Four of Cups here? The Seven of Swords. Yeah, you feel like there's, there's not too many people that you can trust. You know? With this person here, this person may be very, very strategic with the words that they give you, you know. They, they may be very manipulative, right. Um, very manipulative in what they're doing. Um, because with the Four of Cups and the Seven of Swords. Someone's, someone's really being really deceptive here. Okay. Someone's being really strategic on how they deal with you. What they say to you. You know. Because I feel like you're, you're like fed up. You're like done with it. You're like, I'm over. I'm over the situation. I'm ready to move on. You know, I just don't want to go any further. Right? Um, but you don't have any direction at the moment. And you, you may feel like the situation is unpredictable. Like there's no way of taking any action at the moment. Okay? I'm... Hmm. Give me a message for Leo. Give me some advice. Give me some advice for Leo, please. What does Leo need to know? 
Page of Cups, the Three of Swords in reverse, and the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, it, it's time to... You may be getting another offer. You know, there may be someone new coming into your life um, who's going to help you through this heartbreak. Someone who's going to support you, who wants to treat you better. You know, I feel like, you know, you're going to be feeling more focused, more independent with this person coming through. I don't feel like this energy is meant for you, Leo. I feel like, you know, you want to run away from this energy as fast as you possibly can. Because there's a lot of sadness, a lot of depression. Um, I feel like it could very well be toxic. You're protecting your energy. You're wanting this to be over. You're wanting this to be changed. You know? And I feel like with this Page of Cup energy, you, you feel like you want to be rescued. Right? Um, that's what I'm getting with that Page of Cups. You feel like you want to be rescued. You just want someone to hear your point of view. You want someone that you can talk to that is going to support you, right? Um, you just want someone to help you gain the clarity that you need. But I feel like this person that you're dealing with, this person that you're dealing with, this could be a person and this could be a job. This could be a job that you're dealing with, Leo. And I feel like, you know, there's a lot of unhappiness if this is a job that you're dealing with, this is a lot of unhappiness. There may be a new opportunity coming coming in for you that's going to give you more independence and help you, you know, to heal from what kind of situations that you've been through. But if this is a person that you're dealing with, Leo, this is someone who's very bitter and cold-hearted. It's someone who really doesn't care how you feel. Okay? I feel like that's why you're protecting your energy. You know, this is someone who's being very manipulative and someone who's being very strategic on how they treat you. Okay? Um, yeah, I hope this helps, Leo. Oh, if this resonates with you, I hope this helps. You know, let's get some, some messages for Leo. What does Leo need to know? What does Leo need to know right now? Give me a message. Okay, we have tired of being apart. So it could be someone that you aren't having any contact with because of the situation that you're in, right? Um, Whatever this situation is that's keeping you apart, someone is tired of being apart from you. Someone wants to reconnect. Okay, we don't we have don't give up. Um, for some of you, we have a new job. If this is a job situation, a new job is coming, right? And we have alignment is needed. Okay, we have this is toxic and not for you. And we have believe in yourself. Okay. I feel like, hmm, I'm, I feel like, you know, you need to build yourself up and protect your energy, Leo, okay? If this is a relationship, this very well could be toxic, okay? If this is a job, you know, I feel like a new job is coming for you because, yeah, they're not treating you right. They're just not doing you right. And I feel like you're you're trying to be strong in this situation. You're trying to hold it together. Okay, we have gained perspective through energy, through energy work and meditation. Okay, so you may want to um, meditate on that energy and um, gain a better perspective of your situation. You know, maybe go through some guided meditation. Okay. Let's go ahead and get your angel number, Leo. What messages do we have for Leo? Messages for Leo, please. Okay, yeah, reflection. 666, reflection. Okay, 
So when you allow time for reflection, you allow yourself to see where inner shifts are needed. It's time for you to work, excuse me, it's time for you to look at your beliefs and ask if this is serving me or if it's time for me to release this. Reflect, refocus, and readjust. Okay, your affirmation. As I refocus on what serves my highest good, I feel myself shift into my highest self. Okay, so that is your reading, Leo. I hope this helps you. If this resonates, you know, I, I, I hope your energy becomes more positive. Okay. And until your next reading, my lovely, lovely Leo, many blessings to you, love and light.